Let's go, let's go, let's go, baby. Coming with that bing, bing, boom, baby, this morning with a little bit of energy because my purpose is to share the good news on where the Lord has taken me to. As he took me from the depths of hell on this planet, I was once blind and now I see I'm able to spread the good news on what the Lord has done for me in my life. Today, I want to talk about that, 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 that thorn in your side, that one thing that you just can't get rid of. That one thing that just always is irking you and you wish that you can get rid of it. But like Apostle Paul did, he tried to pray away the thorn three times and the Lord would not take this from him. The Lord will not take this thorn. It's the mentor that we did not ask for. But there's some good news. There's always some good news in the, in the change of perspective with God. It's the one thing that keeps you clinging to the Lord. It's the one thing that lets you know that Lord, the Lord is, is the way and the truth, that he is the king of kings. It keeps away pride. It keeps away ego. And now I'm thankful for that thorn because I wake up every single day humble because the leaders among us must be servants. And I'm humble and I want the Lord to use my hands and my feet to help bring others from the, king, uh, from the dark into the kingdom. That's what my whole main purpose is in life. And I'm so thankful for that because when I used to play baseball, I had pride, I had ego, I was miserable, I was, I was in the dark, I wasn't blind, I was living life as a wild animal, I did whatever I wanted, I chased all kinds of pleasures, I fed my flesh, and I, I was in pure survival mode in my addiction. I used to wake up and have to find somewhere to live, somewhere to stay, I used to find out how to not get sick. I used to have to, so many things to where I was just absolutely in straight survival mode and that's not where we want to live, man. We don't want to live in straight survival mode. But I will learn this, that I love the mentor now, and I, or I love the thorn in my side now, and I'm super thankful for this. And true freedom, family, doesn't come from you doing whatever you want. True freedom comes from discipline, from self-control, from you what for me the proverbs is amazing it has guided me in the right direction on what to do on this planet it has kept my integrity at full blast at full force and i won't compromise my integrity and you better you should not either okay this is makes you feel like a fulfilled human being when you're walking in the light with the spirit hiding nothing from nobody this is amazing especially when you used to live in the dark and you were blind and now you can see it's just an amazing amazing change of perspective that even boredom back in my addiction boredom used to crush me Oh, I'm bored. I got to go do something. Oh, I'm bored. I got to go do something. Well, guess what? Now I'm like, oh, I'm bored. Well, at least I'm staying out of trouble. Oh, I'm bored. Well, here, let me go pick up the Bible. Let me go read some scripture. Let me go listen to a sermon. Boredom doesn't really creep up on me because I always got something to do now. I filled up my day 24-7 with good habits with good habits and the change of perspective. Like I said, I used to chase the money and the, and, the, and the limelight and all these things. And those all wells ended dry. And I'm actually lived a whole full life of that life, 37 years of that life. And then I died, boom. And now I've come up and reemerged from the ashes as a whole nother person. And I have to shout it from the mountaintops that this is the way I did it. And this is to me the way and the truth, family. But be thankful for that thorn in your side. It's the mentor that you didn't ask for, but it's the one thing that's keeping you clinging to the Lord and letting, let, and it's what, the one thing that the Lord is letting you know that you need him every single day. And if Apostle Paul couldn't pray it away, then good luck yourself trying to pray it away. I hope we got something out of that. I just love to spread the good news because like I said, the Lord had took me from a horrible drug addiction and he's, uh, he's given me purpose that's like beyond my imagination. I'm just so thankful that I can turn my phone on and I can spread the good news. I hope you guys are doing good today, family. It's Thursday. Let's keep working hard. I hope you put God first. That's my saying. That's my movement, the put God first movement, because this is the one thing that changed my whole life was to wake up in the morning and put God first every single day. I hope we have a great day today. I love you guys. Keep continuing. If you don't mind liking my content, maybe commenting or what, just whatever you want to say, just be honest, man. And I just want to continue to pray for you guys and let's know how I always like to end every single video with the fired up three words. Let's go, baby.